Hey what's up guys, in this series of videos I'm gonna be showing you how to create some parker features for your game in Unreal. In this video specifically we are gonna go over sliding. So I have this obstacle right here and we want to slide under it. So we need an animation for this of course. And I have this anim slide that I have from Mixamo, but obviously you are gonna have your own sliding animation. So I want to open it first of all. And one thing that we need to make sure here is if we go into the asset details and scroll down a little bit, we have the root motion. And what we need to check is that enable root motion is checked like this it has that blue check mark basically what it means is that our character is gonna move along with the animation so with that we can close this and we need to change it into animation montage so right click on the animation create create a montage and i'm just gonna call it am slide am is a shortcut for animation montage then we are gonna go into our player blueprint and i have my third person character open right here then we need some kind of a keybind that we are gonna bind it to so i'm just gonna keybind it to c now what we need to also do is we need to go to viewport and we have this thing called capsule component and this is basically our collision and if we go into the details under the shape we have capsule half height and what this means is basically how tall our capsule is. Now the reason why we need to check this is because yours might be slightly different depending on your character. So what we are gonna do with this is I'm gonna just create a quickly a new variable and I'm gonna call it caps height. I'm gonna set it to let's say float and I'm gonna compile the blueprint so that we can set it and I'm gonna set it to 90 and you want to set it to whatever you have here as the default because we are gonna be returning to it. Another thing that I want to do here is I want to search for hidden in game and I want to make sure it's unchecked because if it's checked then we are not gonna be able to see it in the game and we want to see it to check if this system works. So then we can go into our event graph and do the actual code. So what we want to do first is create another variable and I'm gonna call it can slide. And I'm gonna change it into boolean. Now we want to get a branch, plug it into the C event or whatever your keybind is, get the can slide, get it, plug that into the branch and then immediately we want to set it and we want to plug it into true and we want to set it into false. Another thing we can do here is compile and just change the can slide into true by default. Then we are gonna get our capsule component, drag it in, drag from it and search for set capsule half height. Plug that into the variable and then we are gonna change the half height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my caps height, get it, drag from it, search for divide and I'm gonna divide it by two. That way we are getting the half height of what we would normally get basically. And we are gonna plug that into the half height. Then we are gonna get our mesh, drag from it, search for a relative location, then drag from that and search for plus. And then here on Z we want to add 45. Then we are gonna drag from the mesh, search for set relative location, Plug that into the set capsule half height and then the new location we are just gonna plug this plus into it and i'm gonna explain everything after we do the code like usual then we are gonna get our play animation montage plug that into the set relative location in here we can slot in our animation montage that we created so we can just drag it from the content browser then we want to get a delay plug return value into it and that's basically plugging the length of the animation into the delay and then we want to get a sequence so you can hold on s on your keyboard and left click to get it quickly in here we are gonna need to create two timelines so i'm gonna drag from this create timeline and i'm gonna call this set cap back because we are gonna be setting the capsule back to its original height. Then we can get our can slide, set it, plug it into the finished, and we can set it to true. Then we are gonna get our capsule component again, drag from it, set capsule half height, plug that into the update. Then we can open this timeline, add a new track, our float track, I'm gonna just leave the name as is. And I'm gonna change the length to let's say 0 0.3, but you can change this around as you want. I'm gonna right click, add a key, and then I'm gonna do it again. Now the first one is gonna be time 0 and the value is gonna be 45 and then the next one is gonna be 0 0.3 which is the maximum of our length and then I'm gonna change the value to 90. This basically means that we are gonna start off on the 45 which if you remember we reduced the half height to 45 because we want it only to be half of it and then we are returning back to 90. If yours is different and your regular height is let's say 96 instead of 90 you want to return it to 96. Then we can just close this and go back into our event graph then from the other pane in the sequence we want to drag out and search for timeline again and I'm gonna set the location back then we want to get our mesh drag from it, search for set a relative location, plug that into the update and we want to also drag from our mesh, then we want to drag from our mesh and search for a relative location. Then we want to right click it, 
split struct pane and we want to do the same on the new location we can copy paste the x and y so we are just gonna plug it into each other and we can open our new timeline add a track float track and i'm just gonna leave the name as is length i'm gonna change to 0.3 as well and you want to keep these timelines to have around the same length on the timeline so if you change one to maybe smooth it out or something you want to change the other one as well then we are gonna right click add a key add another key then the first one is gonna be time zero and value on zero as well next one is gonna be time 0.3 and then we are gonna change the value to minus 45 this is basically just because we added at the start the plus 45 and we are just removing the addition basically another thing that we want to do here is when we go back into the event graph we want to plug the new track into the new location scene and then on top here at the set cap back we want to do the same with new track into the half file one thing to note here is since we dragged from the sequence and search for timeline directly it plugged it into the play this is actually a problem because it's gonna mess around and it's gonna basically make our camera glitchy so what we want to do is we want to unplug both of these and plug them to play from the start this way it's gonna restart the timeline basically every time we play this so how does this code work well it's actually really simple we are gonna press a keybind or something that you keybinded it to we are gonna check if we can slide if we can slide then we can't slide because we don't want to slide in the middle of the slide obviously then we are setting the half capsule height and you're gonna see that once we go into the play this is just so that our player character can actually move below obstacle otherwise if we would just get stuck then we have the set relative Location. this is because of the animation because sliding animation would play on the same level as the body but that would mean it's not really on the ground so we want to also put it on the ground then we want to play the animation obviously we are waiting for the delay which is the duration of the animation and then we are basically reversing it back through the timelines so you can change the timelines and the time in them i'm going with 0.3 but you can go with 0.5 0.2 whatever you want just play around with it and then from the finish we are also setting it so we can slide again basically so we can come and save this and now when we are in play you can see our capsule component around our character and now when i run and i press slide as you can see it basically changes it to around half height now when we try to slide under the object as you can see we are sliding just fine another thing to note here is if we try to slide and then we are gonna get stuck in between like this we are not gonna be able to move we are basically just glitching through it so one way to solve this and probably the best way for an actual game is to have some kind of crouch system where your character can crouch around and then from slide you can either go straight into the crouch or you can make a detect system gonna detect if you can stand up and if not it's gonna move you into the crouch now i don't have a crouch system we might look into that in the future but that's one of the ways to solve this so i hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like and subscribe it helps out a lot thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye